I go straight to thinking about what you've seen mm -hmm. broadly. Think about all of your customers and the platforms you offer. You must get a pretty good lens into the health of the tech sector. Uh, we certainly do. Actually, I think we get a, a look into the health of the small business economy globally because, of course, Zero has over 3.7 million subscribers that are predominantly small businesses, call it 5 to 50 employees. And I think what we see is a pretty mixed picture. On the one hand, and I, I'm sure this is no surprise to you, on the one hand, you have rising inflation, you know, supply chain getting more expensive with that, high interest rates. But on the other hand, still low unemployment rates, new business formation is still happening. And of course, you have uh, talent shortages. So uh, what we hear from our small businesses is this is a time of uncertainty and mixed signals, but it's also a time where they really need to manage their cash pretty carefully. I'm really interested in the company. Uh, global mm -hmm. customer base, Absolutely. global footprint. Australasian origins. <laughs> yes. You're here with me in San Francisco. What's that like? Well, I think this is about the company uh, turning its attention globally. I mean, if you look at Zero, you know, the original disrupt disruptor really in cloud based accounting started out of New Zealand from uh, Rod Drury, an ex accountant himself, uh, but really has grown. The UK is our second biggest market. North America, obviously, um, a big home for small businesses worldwide and also uh, important for Zero. Uh, we have to talk about the landscape. I think about QuickBooks as an example here in of the course. U.S., doing some battle with them. <laughs> yeah, yes. Look, I think around the world, Zero and QuickBooks uh, run into each other. I'm not suggesting this is an Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg situation. Uh, I'm just certainly. saying. And quite frankly, that is a total distraction for us. We care about uh, getting our business done for our customers. Yes, of course, we see them in every market. But I think the most important thing uh, to land is that for all of us in this area, the real big winner is just moving people from offline to online. Cloud adoption of small business accounting is actually further behind things like website building. But it offers so much efficiency for small businesses. So we're all just trying to bring those small businesses online. I think what we learned from the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, which was in the context of payroll and banking, of course. but under duress, small technology business as well, they, they have to pivot and make changes. Absolutely. Is the tough macro environment kind of acting as a catalyst among your customers to kind of change how they do business, use technology. Of course, and it's a tale of two cities. First of all, if you are not a venture-backed startup, and the majority of our customers are small businesses of every dimension who have never had the, <laughs> the benefit, quite frankly, of venture funding, they're paranoid about cash and cash management all the time. I think we can agree that Silicon Valley Bank and I'd say companies that have been funded in tech are particularly nervous about their cash management right now. You've done some headcount trims. The sector is looking at headcount reduction. How have you managed that? And let, let me ask you very quickly, is that in response to AI and the ability to use AI, or is it just a macro issue? Actually, for us, it was very simple. The company is uh, tremendously high growth, but we just wanted to get more disciplined and create more operating leverage for our own business. And so we're focused on profitable growth, but customer first.